Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining the Cybersecurity Awareness Month webinar series. My name is Jay Covington. I'm the Section Chief for the Stakeholder Engagement Division's Awareness and Outreach Section at the Department of Homeland Security's Cyber Security and Infrastructure Security Agency, and I'll be your host. Let me give you a little background. October 2023 marks the 20th anniversary of CISA's Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Since 2004, the President and Congress have declared the month of October as Cybersecurity Awareness Month and dedicated that whole month for the public and private sectors to work together to raise awareness about the importance of cybersecurity. CISA and our partners, the National Cybersecurity Alliance, are once again partnering this year to expand cybersecurity awareness on a national and even global scale. We seek to educate individuals and organizations about potential cyber threats and encourage the adoption of best practices for digital and online safety. This year's overarching theme is secure our world. Now this calls us to action to adopt improved and ongoing cyber hygiene. By committing to a safe set of online behaviors, we can easily minimize and prevent cyber criminals and hackers from infiltrating our devices and online accounts. The goal of this campaign is for all of us to implement four meaningful key behavior changes to secure our world. Now, those key behaviors are one, use strong passwords. Two, enable multi-factor authentication. Three, recognize and report phishing. And four, update your software. Now, each week in October, we'll take a deeper dive into each of these four actions and understand why their implementation is so vital. Today, we'll be discussing the creation of strong passwords and debunking myths around password managers. So I want to introduce today's speaker. It is my pleasure to invite Chris Ramos, our subject matter expert on password and password managers. Now, Chris is a cybersecurity state coordinator, also referred to as a cybersecurity advisor. He's a member of the Integrated Operations Division out of Region 3. Region 3 personnel provide risk and risk mitigation advice, outreach, assessments, inspections, trainings, support, and much more to our partners in Delaware, the DC area, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. Chris is a huge asset to CISA. I look forward to learning all about the things he's gonna present today around passwords and password managers. Chris, I will hand it off to you. Thank you for the introduction, Justin. As Justin stated, my name is Chris Ramos, and I will be speaking with you about creating strong passwords and debunking myths about password managers. Today, I will cover what makes a strong password? What is a password manager? Why use a password manager? Dispelling myths about password managers and how to choose a password manager. As we celebrate CISA's 20th Cybersecurity Awareness Month, it is crucial to help everyone understand the significance of using strong passwords and a password manager and how it can safeguard our digital world. We will first discuss a fundamental aspect of online security, strong passwords. Creating strong passwords is like building an impenetrable fortress around your digital world. It's the art of crafting a combination of characters that only you can unlock, keeping your sensitive information safe from prying eyes. With each character, symbol, and number, you fortify your defenses, ensuring that your online presence remains secure. Strong passwords are the first line of defense in the ever evolving landscape of cybersecurity, and they empower you to navigate the digital realm with confidence and peace of mind. So what makes a strong password? In this context, longer is stronger. Passwords with at least 16 characters are hardest to crack. If a website does not permit 16 character passwords, use the longest password or passphrase permissible. Make sure your password is hard to guess. Do not include personal information in your password 
such as your name, your pet's names, birth date, or any information you share in social media. Use a random string of mixed case letters, numbers, and symbols. Get creative with the spelling and add numbers and symbols. Avoid using common words by substituting letters with numbers and punctuation marks or symbols. Use phonetic replacements such as PH instead of F. Make deliberate but obvious misspellings. Develop mnemonics to remember complex passwords. Lastly, remember to use a unique password for each account. Remembering long unique passwords for every account in our lives is impossible. Rather than write them down or reuse weak passwords, use a password manager. Password managers generate strong and unique passwords for you. St store them all in one place and tell you when you have a weak, reused passwords or compromised passwords. Most password managers offer additional capabilities that enhance both convenience and security, such as storage of credit card and frequent flyer information. They can also automatically field credentials into sites and apps using a secure browser plugin. You only need to remember one master password, the one for accessing the password manager itself. Encryption ensures that password managers never know what your passwords are, keeping your passwords safe from prying eyes, safe from cyber attacks. Many password managers today provide two-factor capability and are designed in a way that cloud password services are not able to access the vault, even if compromised. Here's a tip. Create a memorable long passphrase. Protect it from being stolen and never, never write your password down. As Justin mentioned earlier, CISA and the National Cybersecurity Alliance, NCA, have called it the Cybersecurity Awareness Month efforts for 20 years now. This successful collaboration has led to impactful information sharing, joint events, research, and coordinated actions to enhance cybersecurity. Research from our colleague NCA found that only 33% of individuals create unique passwords for all accounts. And only 18% of individuals have downloaded a password manager. When individuals were asked, what is your preferred method of remembering multiple passwords? A whopping 37% reported that they wrote them down in a notebook. A password manager can be a trusted guardian for your online identity. But contrary to common myths, these digital sentinels are not the risky tools they're sometimes portrayed to be. A password manager not only generates and stores complex, unique passwords for each of your accounts, but also stands as a shield against cyber attacks. Let's get into all the myths about password managers. Myth number one. Password managers are less secure than remembering passwords. Some people worry that by using a password manager, they are putting their eggs all in one basket. Thing is, password managers increase security by generating the strong, unique passwords for each account. Myth two, I don't need a password manager. I can handle passwords myself. Well, some individuals think they can rely on memory for all their passwords. 
In the age of numerous online accounts, this is impractical and unsafe. Usually, they will end up reusing the same weak password for their online accounts. Myth three. All password managers are the same. There is a misconception that all password managers offer the same level of security and features. However, different password managers have varying capabilities and security standards. Now, password managers are your allies, not enemies in the world of cybersecurity. With a password manager by your side, you can confidently navigate the digital landscape and leave behind a world of forgotten passwords and embrace a world of enhanced security. Starting with number one, strong, unique passwords. This makes it extremely difficult for cyber criminals to guess or crack your passwords. Number two, ease of use. They simplify the process of managing multiple passwords. You only have to remember one strong master password to access all your credentials. Number three, enhanced security. Password managers use encryption to protect your passwords. They also alert you of security breaches and prompt you to change reused, weak, or compromised passwords. Number four, protection against phishing. Many password managers can recognize legitimate websites and auto-fill login credentials only on these sites, reducing the risk of falling victim to phishing attacks. Number five, cross-platform access. You can access your passwords from various devices and platforms, ensuring you have your credentials wherever you need them. Number six, organizational features. Some password managers are designed for teams and businesses, allowing secure sharing of passwords among team members. Password managers not only make your digital world more secure, but also more convenient. We must also remember that a password manager is an addition to our security measures. It's not a replacement for other key behaviors, which you will hear more about later this month. With so many options available, how do you choose the right password manager? It is essential to choose a reputable and reliable password manager, one that undergoes rigorous security audits and employs strong encryption protocols. Remember these key things on your search. It generates strong passwords. Consider features like cross-platform support browser extensions. Look for strong encryption and a reputable company with a track record of security. Check user view, reviews and recommendations from cybersecurity experts. Avoid password managers that allow recovery of the master password. Any compromise of the mas master password through account recovery tools can compromise the entire password vault. So, let us be diligent in creating strong passwords. Embrace password managers, learn from past experiences, and fortify our digital identities. By doing so, we can navigate the cyber world with confidence and peace of mind. Those are my final thoughts, but I would be happy to answer any questions you all may have. Back to you now, Justin. Thank you. Chris, all the information you just provided was both informative and insightful. Next, I'd love to get your perspective on a few intriguing questions that we've received from our audience here today. So first question, what are some of the best practices around password expirations when used along with MFA? Does short expiration times carry any risk mitigating control? 
Thanks for that, Justin. Very good question. Um, first, you need to enable multi-factor authentication. If you haven't done so yet, do it now or maybe after the webinar. Um, you are probably familiar with the common com company policy on password expirations, which tends to be between 60 and 90 days. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, recommends resetting passwords only when necessary. Why? Because users tend to choose weaker passwords when they know they will have to change them in the near future. When, when passwords expire, they often select a password that is similar to their old password by making minor changes, such as increasing a number in the password or changing the date. Period, periodic password uh, resets have become counterproductive. And, and this practice provides, provides a false sense of security if any of those previous passwords have been compromised. Focus on, the focus should be on enabling multi-factor authentication, um, creating strong passwords, and using a unique password on each account. Um, I hope that answers your qu the question, Kevin, uh, Justin. Yes, Chris, it really did. I think the one continuous theme here is complex and strong passwords as well as multi-factor authentication. So I want to ask you the second question. Password managers create a single point of failure and are a highly attractive target for threat actors. What pros outweigh these cons? Uh, we, we covered the benefits of password managers in, in this webinar, such as complex password generation, right? Ease to access accounts, um, it works across multiple devices, and you only need to remember one master password. On the other hand, what if bad actors get hold of your master password? What if they compromise the cloud service that holds your password vault? Well, what's the alternative? Try to remember hundreds of passwords, or go back to writing passwords on your notebook, just like the 30% uh, of individuals who were covered in the survey, or perhaps reuse the same password in all accounts, which, you know, in a way is equal to having hundreds of points of failure. For the two cons, there are safeguards in place. First, make sure you enable multi-factor authentication on the password manager. Secondly, a reliable and reputable password manager with strong encryption and security protocols employ zero knowledge encryption that prevents them or anyone um, to know your, your stored password. CISA cannot and does not endorse or recommend a specific password manager solution. We recommend the capabilities that fit the functionality of most um, password managers. That's Justin. Thank you, Chris. And to further expand upon the uh, last several years with respect to password and password managers, you know, just a couple of years ago, we were recommending long 12 plus character passphrases. Um, what happened to that? Well, <laughs> good point, Justin. And um, it gets longer and longer, isn't it? And it gets more complex. So here's, here's the scoop on that. When it comes to passwords, you know, longer is stronger. It has to do with how long it takes to crack passwords. In some penetration tests, they claim that it takes just um, for 12 character password may take between 70,000 to 1 million years to, to, to crack, uh, depending on the system. While, you know, 16 character passwords may take 100 trillion years. OK, to help with coming up with long passwords, um, you string a few words together you know, with numbers and symbols included. That will get you at least 16 characters long. Now, at that point, we recommend already using password managers because they can do that for you automatically. So let me say, Chris, we truly appreciate you taking the time to teach us all about creating strong passwords and using a password manager. 
and now helping us understand how we can all take meaningful steps to secure our world. Now, we hope you've enjoyed today's session as we kick off the first ever Cybersecurity Awareness Month webinar series. I have a request of all of you on behalf of CISA. Please help us to secure our world and our critical infrastructure by joining the team in the effort to raise awareness and spread the word that cybersecurity is for everyone, and it's about all of the people. Now, we offer many tools and resources on our CISA.gov website for organizations and individuals to participate in Cybersecurity Awareness Month, to either create your own campaigns or simply share information with your friends and neighbors. We're asking everyone to join the online conversation about Cybersecurity Awareness Month via social media platforms using the hashtag SecureOurWorld and Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Even better, join the global conversation by sharing Cybersecurity Awareness Month messages among your personal and professional networks. Now help spread the word in your communities by passing on cybersecurity tips to your family, your friends, your coworkers. Show them all how easy it is to improve their own cybersecurity and stay safe online. Now, your efforts will help strengthen the national cyber defenses and create a safer and more secure cyber ecosystem for everyone. Again, a big thank you goes to all of you for celebrating our 20th annual Cybersecurity Awareness Month here with CISA. Now, please join us for the next three in this webinar series, which will cover the importance of multi-factor authentication, how to recognize and report phishing, and the best practices for software updates. You could sign up for them through the Eventbrite, just like you did this webinar. And if you have any questions or would like to access our resources, please visit CISA.gov forward slash secure our world and CISA.gov forward slash cybersecurity awareness month. Now let's all work together and secure our world.